Aliens 2. Got that one going. Maybe it's just rewatching it or just seeing it right now at this current time. I kind of believe that's one of, if not like the peak way to make a sequel. Everything from Aliens 2 is right on after and built upon the first one. It doesn't feel like it's replacing it in any way. It's just building on and making it better. We get a whole new cast. We get Ripley back. We get the trauma that she's gone through. Her being berated by the corporates. Trying to make a life and being dragged back into the hell that is another planet that's infested. And then we meet new people, badass people, fun people, annoying people like the sergeant and the the company douchebag. And even design wise, it's freaking amazing. Geiger's on this, and I think it's the same team from the first film. It's just got so much amazing details to it. Even soundtracks, sound effects, like we still get the classic guns now with the plasma guns. I, I mean, it's the feeling of this movie is just amazing because you just enjoy the whole thing you really do and the quality is superb in this one as well again like just the costume designs the the fighting the action yeah there's some decisions but it's because the soldiers are kind of let's be honest he was kind of a dumbass ah just so much cool shit in this movie it's like hard to pinpoint like this is the best thing but just like everything just holds up so well yeah seeing how it's james cameron and he pretty much what he did for terminator 2 for terminator 1 he pretty much did aliens for the first alien um he definitely took the reins he showed the lore respect so bonus points when the director shows respect to the uh um, the source yeah source material and yeah i think we can all agree that he did the sequel well so i guess i'll just jump to the part where the reason why aliens means a lot to me more than just it being a good alien movie is i guess for omega he can go on the movie aspect of this but as a gamer it influenced halo it influenced Mm. like sergeant johnson is literally sergeant apon one to one man like if you know you know they act the same mannerisms the same attitude johnson's a badass Al- alpone's a badass an alien um to clarify sergeant was cool the lieutenant was the the dumbass <laughs> omega was calling him sergeant um the lieutenant yeah. was a dumbass yeah uh, yeah, he, yeah yeah oh yeah, yeah. he was yes. a, what we call what in the gamer world he was a noob with max prestige because he was a lieutenant and he only did simulation runs he's never been in the field <laughs> So that's why a lot of his Such choices a were, yeah a lot of his choices were take other mags foreign. yeah so like yeah it influenced aliens and fun fact a lot of the re- just to throw something in there with you the reason why i think i love this movie so much this really encapsulates metroid which if you're a metroid fan and, fun yeah, fact another, this another was influence. influenced by by alien as foretold yeah. by the creator yes yeah. metroid influenced uh dead space had a hand in there um i guess i'll i've always been stating this after i went back but i'm gonna double down on it every single time dead space 3 if you take off the i hate ea goggles and ignore the microtransactions it literally is an alien Dead Space 3 is more action. Yep. Aliens is more action. You get a lot of that space sequence instrumentals in Dead Space 3, and you get a lot of those in between intermissions and in aliens with that instrumental parts. That is just iconic. And if you go re retry, retry Dead Space 3 with a different look and take off the hater goggles, because I hate EA, man. I, I agree with something with y'all. Don't worry. But if you replay Dead Space 3, it isn't as bad if you play it in the sense of this is an aliens type of restructuring of the franchise Mm. and i appreciated dead space 3 way more after playing it after watching aliens again and again i was like you know what i think i was binging aliens at the time and i was like i want to play dead space because dead space is 
was also influenced, as the devs have stated, by Alien and obviously the Thing and various other creatures. Yeah, but the Flood as well, <laughs> influenced by the Thing and Alien, and it's just cool that. Also, what's his face? Um, the the general paid homage. Sergeant Johnson. Yeah, Johnson. Yeah, and uh, uh, but that reminded me of nothing. Uh, another person, uh, Lance Hendrickson, uh, in Mass Effect, he is the, I think, uh, the lieutenant as well, or the general, or the commander. He's the one of those guys in the human military. <laughs> so he's Bishop in Aliens, like he, that yep, skyrocketed man. his role in various other games and Detroit Become Human, you know, stuff like that. And it's it's just cool that this movie. It's a great movie. We can go on. It ages. still I mean, is. Yeah, I think, oh my god! I think god. everybody can agree it's a great movie. So let's propel this into like. There's a lot of pop culture that was influenced by this movie. That's how great it was. And like, this is probably where tomboys became a thing because I'm just saying, man. It, it, yeah. Strunk, strunk, strunk women go burr. I'm just saying. Yeah, Rodriguez with her smart gun, whooping ass, grenade end to death, explosion with the uh, lieutenant still, still telling him shit for being a noob, you know, like. At Stuff least he like redeemed that. himself. Yeah, like you, you hate the guy, but he <laughs> redeemed himself being a fucking being being a real one. Yeah, and redemption arcs too. Like the story plays out well. Like when good games used to do that the, instead of. Wow, what do you mean? It needs story and memorable <laughs> characters that you can relate to. What you mean? Yeah. The points to to this film is. The team behind it too also has those organic moments, like when you told me Bishop's knife trick was improv. Oh, yeah. That's insane to me, and I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. If that was me getting improv on, I would have been freaking the fuck out. <laughs> I would have been the yeah. same way, yeah. bro. No, that's that not cool, man. <laughs> I would have said the same thing. And the cast in this one just as good as the first everybody's fantastic and i yeah. think my favorite character is still bishop honestly he's just so cool like he's yeah. just he's playing a, a droid but he's he's the 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 grounded droid you know he's you know he's got the he's what is it corrupt yeah well he's yeah. he has the what is it he, what does he say the inhibitor chips so he can yeah. care uh it just oh the, there's there's so many little stories too, like the characters. You said Rodriguez, even what's his face get, getting a small redeem, the douchebag getting his end, which was also satisfying. Uh, but yeah, freaking. Also learning new stuff like the queen. Oh man, that's oh fucking, yeah, bringing like, us the queen and showing like, us a way that they can breed. Yes, makes it more menacing in the long run. You understand now what an infestation entails. And it's crazy because even that for it being not stop motion, like it was all a prop. Yeah. Yes, it's a little bit janky. I mean, I'll, I'll say it now, but there's a charm to it when you know that it's there. Yeah. Like it's a physical being that's there, which I think, correct me if I'm wrong, they did do that. I saw a clip. They did that for Romulus where they had the yeah. same thing. They had a lot of those actually. Yeah. So. That was cool. Yeah, you gotta give him some 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 touche for had that. Had a full body alien uh, on a, a, for both I models. I think it. the regular alien yeah. and then the the baby, if I'm correct. Yep. So whenever they do that, I mean, imagine that thing being like what forty feet tall, like a huge prop. Like, ooh. Oh yeah, definitely. They had a bunch of people just for the arms alone on the queen. Like that My takes so much. When he went on his trip to Australia, he bought me a behind the scenes alien. So I actually got to brush up on it uh, recently. So yeah, there's a lot of extra tidbits in there. And All right. there's a bunch of people working on the arms. That's crazy. Yeah. Also, oh, did you see my brain? Uh, that Her name's Ridley. That's why Ridley's name Ridley in Metroid. F fun fact. That's a little homage. <laughs> yeah. That just hit me like right now. No, back to the the movie stuff. Nothing in this movie feels out of place. I it's it's it's, and then you're supposed to tell people, oh yeah, this is a part two. You know, it's kind of become a track record where a sequel is shit. 
sorry, not sorry. A lot of them are just terrible or they're lesser. And if you don't have that, that magic, yeah. this one is the complete opposite. It's badass. <laughs> it's badass. It has its moments where it's scary, where, you know, the crew dies one after another. Shit hits the fan. You're going, oh, my God. And there's it's still able to keep up, honestly, a good balance. I would say it does better than Predator. I'm not going to lie to you. Predator is a lot slower and it has its horror and then it has its action, you know, parts or where it yeah. trades off. In this one, it's able to hold it up pretty well over all the over the whole film essentially it's done really good i got it i know we're just bambling it um but it's kind of insane how good this movie is like it really is where is yeah. this nowadays i want the where is this and i know i think i said the same thing to the first alien where i said where is this kind of quality and and like a storytelling and horror and whatnot you don't hate people. You hate people on purpose, but they, they then they redeem themselves. And the ones that you do in the painting, like the the corporate guy, he gets yeeted. And we even get like a somewhat little romance story too. And we get Ridley getting her mother arc where she wants to care for Newt. And even again, that's where we get you know the queen later on when they take her. And ah, I know I'm I'm getting to the gushing of it, but it's just this movie does so good. Yeah, it doesn't take much to even start off too like a lot of movies kind of feel that they have a slow burning start which is fine because the payoff is usually good but this was pretty quick it really is you know and then we're off to the races just it, to add some random trivia the reason why it's called aliens and not alien 2 is because someone stole the name and it's a random b movie that was trying to capitalize on the success of alien so when they took Alien 2, people, they knew that people were going to look up Alien 2 because when the sequel was being presented. So James Cameron had to go with Aliens with an S because the name was already taken. I had no idea about that. <laughs> yeah. Random huh. little, yeah, B, random B movie out of nowhere. You motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> I guess I mean we can keep going on, but that's where I gotta yeah, say, man. It's a, it's, it's a great movie. It's a f that's why I said what uh, I said at the beginning. Like we can go on ages explaining why it's a great movie. I don't think anyone's gonna disagree that it it isn't a great movie. It in impacted a lot of pop culture. It's one of the few rules that every filmmaker, regardless if you're a horror filmmaker or not, you go back to this movie to see why a sequel can be how a sequel can be great. And it's used in case studies. Like, there's no arguing. There's no discussion to be had. It is a great movie that a lot of film people still use to this day as how do I make a great sequel? Aliens. We're I mean, it alien. does have the game over man in it, so. Game? What the fuck? Really? Yes, he's the hotshot cop that's hitting on the girl that's... Oh my pregnant. god, he's the fucking corny dude. Yes. What? <laughs> <laughs> aliens influenced a lot of things oh man. my god <laughs> all right well you got me there right, well, now we definitely gotta go check out uh, concrete jungle again i'll say my piece this movie has no reason being so good at everything music visuals the animatronics the characters again like i love bishop i'm sorry he's just so fucking cool yeah. nobody's hateable everybody's me, got their arc does. everybody's got their proper writing and it's just a fun action piece that it does mm -hmm. fantastic. Ugh. You need to read his short story because it's creepy. The you things he you sees. mentioned that he has a story yeah. where he's in the pipe, he's right? Through the pipe, and he just hears, sees aliens communicating, doing things in the background. He, it just overemphasizes, like, even as a synth, I feel fear. Like, he tells you what he's feeling, what he's thinking. And a lot of people source that as, like, if you if you love the movies, you need to read that um, short I gotta, story. I gotta check that out. Yeah, I'm gonna keep repeating it, but whatever. I'm done. <laughs> Great movie, fucking solid. Like I, I would say, it's like a ten out of ten. I fucking loved it. Maybe I'm biased, but ah, uh, it's it was really good. I agree. All right, there you go. There you have it. Go watch it. Get on, get humans. <laughs>